I'm Jenny Buendia with Beanstalk Coffee and Snow. Um, we're excited to be part of the summer treats this year for Uncovering Oklahoma. Um, some of our awesome treats that we have here at Beanstalk, um, our number one like specialty snow cone that we serve here is our cold brew snow cone. Um, so we use our real cold brew, house-made cold brew. We turn it into a snow cone syrup so it has that good coffee taste but also has that kick of caffeine in it. Uh, we throw some of our homemade cream on it um, with our super smooth ice. Um, it's a block ice so it's the creamiest and smoothest ice you've ever had. Um, and then we have our snow made lemonade. So we hand squeeze our lemons or we also have limeade. Um, so hand squeeze our lemons and limes straight into our cup for every single order. And then you can add just simple syrup or you can add any snow cone flavor that we have. We have over 100 different individual flavors. So you could have a guava, guava limeade or a passion fruit lemonade if you want. And then our third summer treat is our Silver Fox Latte. Um, so we can do it hot or ice, but for summer, obviously, you'd wanna get an iced one. So this has our house-made Silver Fox syrup, which is like a homemade vanilla flavor, um, milk and espresso. So this is number one treat we sell every single day of the year, no matter what. Um, so we just welcome everybody to come out to Beanstalk. We are um, in our starting our second year of business, and we're excited to see everybody out this year. Hey guys, Josh with Frio's Gourmet Popsicles here at Wheeler Park, downtown Oklahoma City. Kind of wanted to give you a heads up what we're offering for summer treats this summer. I've got some Pops for Pups right here. It's 100% uh, consumable. We've got a rawhide bone for the stick, peanut butter flavored, human grade food right here. I've got key lime pie. You can see the graham cracker right in the middle there. Um, blueberry cheesecake. Real cream cheese and blueberries in every bite. And we've got a couple more I'll showcase here. One of my favorites, it's the pineapple mango. No sugar added, vegan, nut free, wheat free, gluten free, soy free. Delicious. Uh, we've got just, just another one, cotton candy. I've got so many more flavors to choose from. We've got an inventory that revolves. So be sure to check us out online to see what flavors we're gonna be carrying and what we can offer, and follow us on social media, at OKC Frios. Look forward to seeing you. Hi, my name's Erica Gomez. I'm the owner of Addie's Sugar Shack here in Norman. We're located in Robinson Crossing at 1228 North Interstate Drive. This is one of my signature snow cones. It's our entanglement, which is a banana pudding flavor. It has vanilla and banana flavoring and it is topped with cream, sweetened condensed milk, whipped cream, a banana chip, and a vanilla wafer. It's just one of our many specialties that we have offered here. We also have a spicy mango that we use chamoy, tahini, mango, and all sorts of spicy goodies on top. We also offer several snack options. We have our uh, hot Cheeto nachos, we have Taki nachos, or we have funnel cake fries like this one in front of us that comes in a variety of flavors. We have strawberry, chocolate, caramel, or our banana pudding flavor like this one in front of me. It is uh, our funnel cake fries with banana pudding, caramel drizzle, bananas, and whipped cream on top. So if you're ever down in Norman, please come and check us out. Hi, my name's Todd Palmer, and I am one of the co-owners of Rusty Gate Creamery here in Jinx, Oklahoma. And I am Charlie Biddick, and I'm one of the managers here at Rusty Gate here in Jinx, Oklahoma. And we welcome you guys in today to uh, preview our shop. Uh, we are Rusty Gate Creamery. We are a 50s-style uh, diner ice cream parlor. Um, we serve up 16 different flavors right now. Uh, we do the old-fashioned types of ice creams, sodas, uh, such as a chocolate soda. Uh, we do pineapple whip. We have uh, hot fudge sundaes, brownie sundaes, just about anything you can think of for an ice cream shop. So what we'd like to do now is show you our most popular flavor, which is called Superman. So if you want to follow us over here, so Superman is our number one selling ice cream. Our ice cream is, called, is from Ashby Sterling and it is made in Michigan. Uh, it is 14% butterfat or more, so very rich and creamy. So you can see the Superman has a lots of colors to it. It is strawberry, lemon, and bubble gum, and it kind of has a uh, fruity pebbles taste to it. 
And Charlie, why don't you show them the Pineapple Whip? So Pineapple Whip has really been one of our best sellers this summer. Um, it is um, Dole brand. Um, we're really proud of selling the Dole brand here. Um, it is also one of our dairy-free options that we have. And it is like a soft serve ice cream but it's water-based instead of dairy. So um, it's a really good option for people who cannot have ice cream. Um, it's very, very popular in the summertime. And we also try to keep this on all year round. So most people try to, you know, they turn this off in the summertime or after summer, um, but we keep it on all year round for all of our customers and they really love it. Yeah. And also besides our ice cream and our Dole Pineapple Whip, we sell 40 different flavors of soda. Along with that, we sell all of our ice cream in pints as well. And we have tons of different candies uh, and many nostalgic types of candies uh, here at our shop. So we'd like to invite you all down to Jinx. Come and check us out here. Uh, we're on the corner of First and Main um, and, and visit our antique shops here in our district as well. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good day, guys. We're hanging out at this bar in our college town called Bottles 101 and they had an amazing craft beer selection and I fell into an internship selling wine and beer and I guess I never even realized that was a career option and we both kind of fell in love with it and decided we were like okay well let's open a brewery someday like how do we do this I guess I'll focus on learning how to sell and run the operational stuff in the tap room and then you learn how to brew and we just kind of worked our way up and most recently Reed came from Prairie I came from Stone Club. I guess kind of my style is not having a style. For me, it's a, about experimentation and having fun. I love to use different yeasts and, and hops and different combinations. And we have a, a lot of tanks just so we can kind of keep the, the spirit of experimentation going. You know, the pizza kind of fell into place. I actually had a surgery and started baking. And uh, we were like, let's, let's start using beer yeast to ferment the pizza dough. So we started doing that and it started turning out really good. We started making it for our neighbors and everybody's like, man, this pizza is really good. So we're like, let's, yeah. let's make it a, a, a thing at the brewery. For sure. Let's We've always thought food at a brewery was kind of a critical component that was missing from some other places. And obviously that's because there's been a lot of change in what a brewery can be in the recent history. And now you can have a tap room and now you can have a kitchen in your tap room. So our pizza, I'd say, is somewhere between like a classic Neapolitan and maybe like a- New Haven? Like a New Haven a pizza style. It's chewy and crispy and kind of the cool thing about the pizza is we ferment all the dough with the same yeast that uh, we ferment beer with. So it kind of lends some different characteristics to the dough that you normally wouldn't get from, you know, say just a baker's yeast. Yeah, I mean, we just want to be creative. Uh, we want the beer to be creative. We want the food to be creative. So fewer limitations, smaller size batches, so we can just have fun and he can play around with whatever he wants to mess with. What I think this place lends to a date night is that it's definitely more female friendly. It's definitely more open to a more diverse audience. You know, we wanted to set this place up to be family friendly and woman friendly and kid friendly. So I just think like kind of the vibe of the space and how it's set up and maybe some of our offerings are a little bit more diverse and kind of open us up to a larger crowd. And we have food. So you can hang out on the patio or on the swing set, you know, have a beer, swing with your date, have some pizza. Fairweather Friend is a chill, cool place to hang out. We've kind of created some cool spaces. You can play pool in the lounge area, hang out in the tap room, or outside on our awesome huge patio. And along with that, we have an ever-changing list of creative craft beers, craft pizza, and would love to share them with you. My name is Sevim Kumpian. I am on the Turkish Delight food truck. My best seller is chicken tava. Everybody really like in it and like mushroom, green peppers, tomatoes, 
seasoning, chicken, and uh, pepper paste, and top mozzarella cheese. And we serve it with fresh baked bread and with rice, onion salad. My personal favorite is uh, Turkish pizza called Lama Jun. It's really flat and uh, having uh, lots of ingredients on top, like kind of tortillas. And uh, inside have uh, like onions, parsley, tomatoes, hamburger meat, and uh, lots of seasoning, and flat and top the tortillas, and we cook in the oven. A vegetarian option is like a tawa, all veggie. Like uh, we say chicken tawa, but we not put in the chicken, just call the chick uh, vegetarian tawa. Thank you for you guys coming and uh, please come visit us and try it, Turkish food. I believe you guys like it, gonna like it. Thank you for watching this episode of Uncovering Oklahoma. I also want to take a moment to thank my superstar supporters, Revolve Productions, and the Keller Kenton family, as well as all of my supporters on Patreon. If you love what I'm doing, please join me on Patreon for bonus content and early access to new episodes. I'm already working on the next one, so be sure to subscribe for updates. Until next time, happy adventures.